what's going on guys welcome back we're back season four episode one is here today the walking dead man <laughs> i am ready seriously <laughs> but anyways man um yeah man last season was a doozy was a doozy one of um my second favorite season out of the three that i've watched so far um so such such a great season such a great season man such a great season last season we lost a couple of people we lost um that we lost in that season uh we lost Lori and we lost Andrea um got introduced to a great character to the show the governor um love his character but I hate his character. <laughs> you know, I love the fact that he's in the show, but I hate his character in the show because he's a douche times a thousand, you know, and, you know, he only does things that are very convenient to him. I understand where his viewpoint is from is basically killer be killed, turned into killer be killed. But has he always been like that? Kind of. Yeah, because he killed all those military guys. It's like, first of all, that was weird. Because no military guys can catch and getting caught off guard like that. That was kind of weird to me. And it was very unrealistic. For plot point presence, I get it. But on a real, military people would never be caught off guard like that. Like, let's just be honest. By a bunch of dudes that just picked up guns? Come on, man. Like, let's be real about it. But anyways. Um, so, we got the main cast is back. I'm pretty sure that in this season, Carl is going to be older. Beth is going to be old. Everybody's going to be older, right? Um, so this is, I'm looking forward to this season to see what they're going to introduce that is new. Obviously, it seems like the um, those guys are back. The, 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 uh, the brother and the sister that was introduced, I don't remember their names, but when they went back to... Um, to the the camp or whatever i don't remember the, um woodbury is it woodbury i think it's woodbury right and they were protecting it and told him what the governor did they took him in so i'm i don't know if they're gonna like kind of unite those people with the prison people are they gonna be at the prison or are they gonna be at woodbury i don't know what's gonna happen but the governor is still out there him and what's his name again is it sanchez i don't remember but the two of them is still alive so Let's go jump into this and see what happens next. Season 4, Episode 1, man. I'm happy. Let's go do this. Finally, I get some time to actually sit down and do some reactions. I'm going to try to put out as many for all the shows that I do for these two next two days. I'm going to try to get out as much as I can for these. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys for the review right after. Okay? See you guys then. Right, so that was an interesting episode, to, to say the least. I mean, very interesting episode. The reason why I'm saying that, whatever that was. Anyways, um, interesting episode, man. Because is this a new threat now? People are dying from, I don't know. What did he die from? I don't know. Um, I mean, I has I have no emotional attachment to Zach. Um, I thought I would get a different reaction from Beth, but it, but it's also kind of a relief the way how she reacted because it's like, you know, at this point. It kind of makes no sense to cry over spilt milk. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I think she would react differently if it was Maggie or her dad, of course. But I don't, it, you know, you get to that point. Kind of, kind of reminds me of myself where you get to that point where if you're not close to people, you don't, it's not that you don't empathize, right? It's not that you don't empathize. It's more of like 
really and truly there's no tears because you know you're not you're not to that point with that person you know what i'm saying but i think this was just like to the to the point where she has this wall up you know what i'm saying you have this wall up where it's only people that at this point in your life where they, they have to be you and that person got to be super close for you to really feel that in the pit of your stomach not that you don't empathize as i said before with others who are close to that person it's more of like there's there's not you, you don't have enough of an emotional connection with that person to cry you know what i'm saying um to cry for that person because it you know to put it bluntly you know to put it bluntly you don't really have those kind of feelings for that person you get what i'm saying we're just not that close you get what i'm saying so um you know some people see others cry they start crying i'm not that type of person so um to see how the way how she handled it was great got some other pairings like that pairing kind of caught me off guard because you know i don't know maybe i'm you know, I'm kind of still rooting for her and Carl to, to kind of get together. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I think Carl is old enough now to have a girlfriend. If, you know, it was kind of creepy when he showed interest before. It was kind of creepy um, in last season because I didn't know how old Carl was. So it was kind of like she's a teenager. I don't know. I think she's probably around 15 or 16. I want to say I don't know. So I don't know completely. But. I think that relationship, I have a feeling that that relationship is going to happen, um, not not necessarily this season, but I think it's going to happen in the show. It may happen, it may not, who knows, but um, some interesting stuff happened. Um, I think the, the, the greatest part of th this episode was the, the, um, the situation that happened with Rick outside of the fence. Um, because the, the, they're kind of showing you like how far gone some people have, you, you know, some people are, you know what I'm saying? And to kind of, kind of like have a, um, a recall back to season three with the situation that was going on with the governor and his daughter, whereas in is like, some people just have a hard time letting go, which is, and that's what caused kind of like the the mental of certain people of not letting go herschel was there too herschel uh, you, you know what i'm saying herschel was there um with his family and they've overcome that and to also hear that carl is also telling these kids listen they're not alive stop nicknaming them they're not people you know what i'm saying they're, they're basically monsters you know what i'm saying um they're not pets and all of this other stuff which is great. I like the fact that he's being, because he's seen so much, he's being a little bit more mature. It may come off a little bit overbearing the way how he's doing it. But at the same time, when he goes to check on the kids to see, oh, well, you know, maybe this is something I actually want to do, which is the reading and stuff like that. They're teaching them about knives, which is not some, this is not what Rick expects because Rick is the, the overall, you know what I'm saying? Like he is their leader. Right. So if so, if he's telling them to do one thing and they're doing another, it's going to be a problem. I don't know if Carl is going to tell Rick, but I suspect that he does. And I think he should. And the reason why I say he should is because I think Rick needs to know what's really going on. They can't be doing stuff like this behind the scenes, teaching the kids to use knives. I know they want to live a regular life, but that's not a possibility at this moment. I think that they're doing the right thing. But I think Rick needs to know. I think I think kids of a certain age, those kids are old enough to learn how to use a knife. To You get what I'm saying? Learn how to use a knife, how to hold it, whatever. Um, I think, I don't think they're old enough to necessarily know how to shoot a gun. But they should show them the basics, safety. You get what I'm saying? For safety purposes, show them if they just happen to, to happen on a gun, they know how to shoot it and it's not, you know what I'm saying, like at another person or whatever the situation is. It could be, it's it's up to them what they want to do. But I think those kids are old enough because they're um, nearly as old as Carl is when, you know what I'm saying, like he, he was obsessed at 
you know, before when he, you know, when he stole a gun, I think it was in season two. Um, so, uh, I do think they're old enough to learn the safety and to understand that it is not a toy and all this other stuff, which I believe in real life. Also, I really do believe, and I'm not, I'm not necessarily, um, pro gun or whatever you want to call those people. I'm, I'm not that type of person, but I do believe that if it exists, you get what I'm saying? As a weapon, I do think that people should take the necessary precaution of teaching their kids. Um, I know in some states in America, it's illegal to teach kids under 18 how to handle a weapon and to take them to gun range and stuff like that. Like, I, it's illegal. You know what I'm saying? You could go to, to jail for for negligence, um, um, child endangerment and stuff like that. Some states, not so much, but I think the majority of states, you cannot teach a child um, as a parent, you can't do that under the age of 18. I think some states are a little bit more lenient than some, but it is what it is. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. When it comes on to, um, what happened there outside is it's expected. It's expected. These things, you know what I'm saying? Incidents are going to happen, but it seems like you know, more and more walkers are showing up at the prison and they can't explain why. But the mystery of the episode is that kid that died at the end. I don't know if he died from disease. I don't know if we, they don't know. I don't know what's going on. So I guess we're going to probably find out what happens in season um, in the next episode, episode two of season four. So it was great to see ass kicker. Uh, it was great to to see ass kicker. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Michonne, who is Michonne looking for? Who are they looking for? I have no clue what they're looking for. Who they're looking for? Um, that's a mystery. So I'm glad to see that um, Daryl um, is getting along with Carol. That rhymed. <laughs> anyways, but anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so psyched to watch episode two. I'm probably gonna put that episode out tomorrow, depending because tomorrow I'll be doing a bunch of music reactions. So I'm just trying to get the TV shows and anime out are done today. They might be out between tonight and tomorrow morning, but I'm trying to get all that stuff out today so that I can concentrate on music reactions tomorrow and also doing my manga read through so thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys for the next one peace remember to comment and like